Hello fellow agents and secret network community. My name is Anubis and today we're going to do an ecosystem highlight on Starshell. Starshell is the new native wallet for secret network built with an emphasis on security and privacy. To get started, go to starshell.net and click install the app. Now let's explore what this wallet has that you cannot find elsewhere. Let's do something that any user may do on a normal basis and go do a swap. We're going to go to btn.group. As we bring up the web page, you can see that it gives you warning that it wants to connect to the wallet as usual. Here we can choose which accounts we wish to connect with, but what's different is the depth of information. You can review the permissions requested and safely disable optional permissions. If you want to see more details, click Show Details. Viewing the name of your account may improve the UI when multiple accounts are connected. However, it could lead to de-anonymization or tracking. This permission is optional. Here we see Record Your Chain Address. We can see that it is needed for bridges, airdrops, or off-chain verification. However, Apps can use your address to associate it with your geolocatable IP address, view your entire transaction history, or track you across other dApps. Here we show two other common permissions. Read data from the chain, a common and safe permission, post transactions to the chain, you will be prompted to sign each transaction. These are all basic permissions, but what's different is the depth of information provided. And here we see a new warning. This pop-up is warning that the site is trying to expose one viewing key. If you want more information, since ButtonSwap uses the BUTT token for aggregation fees, I'm going to allow it. Now that we've exposed the viewing key, you can click here and see the balance. Bringing up the wallet, we can click Menu and select Pop-Out. This opens a window that you can click in and out of at will rather than reopening the wallet each time you click into the screen. On the home screen, we see a very powerful tool. Starshell has a built-in fee grant that auto-enables when you have no gas in your wallet and allows you to manually enable it for up to 0.1 SCRT per day for general use, meaning you can use this for bridge fees, creating view keys, or doing your first swap. We click here to request the fee, and here you can see that we have been granted 0.1 SCRT from Starshell Courtesy Fee Grant. Automatically expires on the next calendar day. Now let's use this to do our swap. Let's go to swap 1 SSCRT. Here we get the same pop-up and we're going to allow it. And now click swap. And this is where it starts to get very interesting. The UI shows the contract execution data in a friendly format. You can view the path of execution easily, copy contracts, TX hashes, and view the content. Here you can see vGrant has been enabled. Notice network fee and optimized fee. Starshell has a built-in fee optimizer, which allows you to get the best gas prices possible. Click approve. Now that we've swapped, let's check out the next aspect, history. Here we can see our wallet history, including transactions, wallet events, and actions. Here we can see the swap which we just made. Let's click on apps. Click on BTN group. Here we can control all permissions for the site and we can revoke them. Here we see two viewing keys shared with the app. We can revoke them one at a time or all at once. If we wish to disconnect all permissions at the same time, click disconnect and revoke token access. If we want to see what all websites have access to a specific token, we can go into the token menu, click the token that we wish to review, and we see that one app has a copy of the current viewing key. We can see that that application is button swap. We could rotate the viewing key here. We would see any other applications that had permission, along with any querying permits that are enabled as well. Additionally, we can review all the history for this token which is always handy for tracking your assets. The next thing that I would like to highlight is the global search. Clicking the magnifying glass, you can search for any aspect of the wallet like tokens, dApps, accounts, or features. Here we see the Starshell Courtesy Fee Grant. 
Which leads me to the last thing I want to highlight, which is the private memos. You can send an end-to-end -end encrypted message via memo when sending SCRT to anyone. The person receiving must have a Starshell wallet to view the message. You can enable by going to send, SCRT, add memo, and enable private memos. Choose the network you wish to send through, choose the amount, enable private, and write the message. Then click Next. Here we can see the decrypted memo and we could show the raw form by clicking this. Click Approve and we have now sent an end-to-end -end encrypted message to the owner of the fee grant. To sum it up, there is a lot to explore and far more control than most wallets give you, along with stronger security awareness. This wallet is powerful. If you like this content, please be sure to like and share it, as well as subscribe and follow our other socials. If you would like to get involved with the secret agency, come join us at chat.scrt.network, and we will see you on the other side.